Hello, everyone, and welcome to Yola National and to our very first uh, masterclass. Uh, I'm so excited to see everyone putting into the chat where they're coming from. We have folks viewing from um, Caracas in Venezuela, uh, East Coasters uh, over in Philadelphia here in Los Angeles, and uh, it's really, really good to see all of you. Uh, my name is Angelica Cortez. I work for the Los Angeles Philharmonic, uh, and I'm just here to welcome you all and to introduce uh, our wonderful performers today. So I'd like to welcome onto the call Bing Wang, who is the Associate Concert Master of the Los Angeles Philharmonic. Hi, Bing, and thank you so much for being here with us today. Hi, everybody. I am thrilled to be leading this masterclass today. Welcome. Thanks, Bing. Uh, and I'm also welcoming Maria Fernandez, who is from Venezuela, and Angie Ramirez, who is from Miami, Florida, uh, and who you'll get to hear from today as well. She's representing Miami Music Project, uh, as well as the Yola National Institute, and uh, Maria is representing El Sistema Venezuela. So welcome to both of you. Thank you. Uh, so what we're going to start out with is Maria, who, uh, whose video we're going to play. Uh, this is a pre-recorded video, uh, so we're going to go ahead and share that. And once we listen to the video, we'll have Bing and Maria talk a little bit through it, and then we'll switch over to Angie. First, I want to say, Bravo, it's so energetic and clean. Uh, I love your both strokes. Um, the articulation at the beginning, the 16th, are so clear and throughout. So you have wonderful right hand training. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so for the first part in the moderato, um, I would like to work on having a longer phrase because okay. if you look at um, if you look at the part uh, we have a lot of those kind of because there are so many of this kind of pattern right it goes on and on so let's see how you how you can show us a longer phrase because otherwise I think as clean as you can play those short 16 notes, it gets, it feels a little repetitive. So let's say first, let's just play one phrase that you think you would like to carry the long line over. This is wonderful. Starting from the fifth bar, if we can carry more line. Sort of carry. I think what I mean is to carry the phrase over the rests. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, I guess. So can we do that one more time and then we're gonna go on? Okay. Yeah. It's to not observe the rests, but to carry the line over the rests. Okay. Yeah. And then as 
as you go on, you can tell the harmony goes into different harmonies. Think about the harmony and think about the piano part under us. I think that will make us sound less repetitive. Right? Does it make sense? Yeah. The next part I want to talk about is this. Part of the, I think part of the difficulty we have to overcome online, I think also maybe in person too, but much more so online, is it's hard for us to hear what dynamic we are playing over the internet, right? So I want to tell everybody listening that we are going to show them the start of the next section is piano, and then we have fortissimo, and then it goes back to piano. It was very hard for me to hear those. And I think part of, we blame the internet on that, right? But also I think we have to do more to exaggerate those. Do you agree? Yeah. Yes. So let's try. Can we go and show us what piano dynamic you can play? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, these these are loud and these are loud and then and then I think we have to make an extra effort to to always to to lighten up the piano parts. Otherwise, it doesn't come down very easily, right? Okay. Yeah. I am so happy, so happy to hear you and work with you. I'm so happy that we have this. We have this opportunity online, right? That we can connect. Thank you. We we are so happy, so excited of being here to have this opportunity. It's it's great. Congratulations, Maria, and I think everyone who's listening can join me in like a virtual round of applause because that was such beautiful playing. So I'm going to go ahead and invite Angie Ramirez. And Angie, if you don't mind just telling us uh, before we get the video going, if you mind, uh, if you can come on screen and just let us know uh, what the name of your piece is, please. Um, I'm going to be playing um, also by Sarah Sate, Introduction and Tarantella. Fantastic. All right. I'll let Chris take it away. Fantastic. <laughs> I have to say to all the participants, I think it's quite special that we have two Sarasate pieces. Beautiful hearing you playing again. Bravo, Angela. <laughs> so I want to work on um, sort of one, uh, one main thing that I think I picked out from part of the piece from here and there that I want to work on. And that's transitions. Um, as those of you listening, you, you can tell that it's a beautiful slow introduction, right? And then there is the tarantella. But within the tarantella, it doesn't just go from beginning all the way through the end. Even within the tarantella, there are different colors, different kind of even dance steps, right? This is like a fiery, fast dance. Pizzicatos. I feel, Angela, if, if you can think before there are moments, as you know, you're taking time and most of those moments are in fortissimo. One, bam, bam, yum, bam, 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 bam. Uh, we need to observe suspense and attention. So I think that's my main thing to talk about and for you to play through bits and parts of that. 
And the other thing that I want to work on, only sort of I think happens at the very beginning. I would like to see how we can make your vibrato more expressive. So the beginning is is moderato tempo, right? This is very beautiful, sort of in the middle range ones, and then there is a lower deep range on the G string. Um, but I think it's just sort of over the top singing, right? Um, I think we need to use a little bit more vibrato on these eighth notes. I know that some of the notes changes very quickly, right? We're constantly moving uh, two different notes. But I think if that that whole introduction can have can have more vibrato, uh, so I will be very happy for you right now to. Uh, to try some of that. So let's go first to the very beginning. And also, I think since the piece, as you can tell, the opening, um, I hope we are, not that rhythm is not important. I think we should be free within the bar to sing and pull and tug a little bit. So, right, you all know what, what I'm trying to show here because these are all even eighth notes. Instead of, not that it cannot be played that way, but I think for an introduction like this, I think we can be freer, still within the four beat frame, right? You got it. So that we can actually have have sort of more life and the breathing within the phrasing. So let's try that. Okay, so which I, I didn't mention that the, the breathing and, the, and the, the timing part, but I think together with the vibrato that will make the, the first part just more singing overall. Mm -hmm. So let's try the opening. I think if in this kind of phrasing, I think another way for me to put at this is we sort of have to arrive on the longer notes a little more, I think for us players. So if we go, try to really put more weight and also Angela, I think that's what's also important is for us to breathe on that downbeat. Great. Bravo. Bravo and Angela. Thank you. You're doing great. Yeah, I'm so happy to hear this new work. And I'm sure the crowd uh, listening all over the world is going crazy right now, Angie. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. Great job. Um, and Bing, so maybe we can just take the next five minutes or so to answer some of the questions that came into the chat. Is that okay? Perfect. Um, so we had a couple of basic questions just about you and your background. How did you start playing the violin and is there a university that you're currently teaching for? I started violin back in China. I was born in China. Um, I, I played the violin because both my parents are violinists. <laughs> so that sort of seemed like a natural path uh, that I ended up learning the violin. And then um, I entered the middle school of Shanghai Conservatory and then at 17 I came over to the States. I went to Peabody Conservatory for my bachelor's, then Manhattan School of Music for my master's. Uh, my first orchestra job was Cincinnati Symphony. Uh, I was a section second violinist there, which means I was in the second violin section. Then I became uh, principal second. Then I came to LA Phil, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes, I came and I won the audition for associate concert master and, and, and then here I am. Many years later, I'm just happy to be here. I teach at USC Thornton School of Music. Uh, I'm, I'm a violin faculty there. Great. Thanks so much, Bing.